Hello all. In this video, let us take a look into a new feature of Scaleout in SQL Server Integration Services of SQL Server version 2017. In the earlier versions, if at all, if you are trying to execute um, multiple packages, we can execute that in one single machine where the SQL Server Integration Services is installed. But with this feature, what we can do is we can configure multiple worker nodes to execute the packages in the worker nodes in a scale out mode. So basically in a project deployment mode, uh, if you would have deployed, let's say, five packages, and then if you are trying to execute the packages, typically what we will do is we will try to um, create jobs and uh, we will uh, execute that uh, packages in a sequential mode. If at all, if you want to execute it in a, a parallel mode, we'll try to create the uh, jobs, um, multiple jobs, and then we'll try to trigger this uh, jobs in a parallel mode. But with this feature, what we can do is we can execute the packages in multiple worker machines. This can be easily done by just by a configuration. So for doing this, we need to install a SSIS scaleout master, uh, which will be like controlling the worker nodes, or you know, uh, that will be the master machine which will be um, sending the uh, commands to the worker nodes and uh, after processing till uh, get back the um, control. Or it, it, that's the basically it's a kind of a control mode. The worker nodes are where the SSIS package will be executed. So a master no machine, whichever um, uh, has been uh, considered or installed as a master machine can act as a worker node also. And it can add multiple worker machines to it um, using the configurations. So to configure the worker machines, um, we have two ways of doing it, either um, we can do it during the setup itself. Um, basically, this uh, SQL Server installation has in the listed features, it has a, a SSIS scaleout master and SSIS scaleout worker. By choosing those options while you are installing itself, we can provide the um, master machine the details and the certificate so that uh, that, that uh, configuration happens during the installation itself. If not, we do have a separate screen or tool to do this uh, configuration, which is called Scaleout Manager. So we'll take a look into this in our uh, demo. And uh, to execute this uh, packages in a Scaleout mode, uh, you can choose you know, what are the worker machines uh, in which this uh, packages needs to be executed in a Scaleout mode, basically. So we'll, we'll take a look into the demo. Uh, the first step will look into how to do the configuration and then we will execute uh, a sample uh, and then packages and then see how it works. Let's jump into the demo. So as I mentioned earlier, while uh, during the installation, you can choose this uh, options of uh, scaleout master and scaleout worker for the integration services. And then once you are uh, moving next, it would uh, um, list out you know, the services to be configured. These are the service accounts under which uh, the, um, the, these services will run. Um, so once it is configured, uh, this is for the scale of master node. You can provide a port number. Um, and then you, have, you can say that whether it will create a SSL certificate. This will be your master certificate, basically. And um, if at all, if you provide whatever port number you are providing, the port number should be open for uh, communication, basically. So you need to set up a firewall uh, inbound uh, uh, rules, basically. So this is how you will be setting up a master. And then when you go to next, and uh, here uh, is where you set up a worker node. Um, here you can provide the, uh, you know, uh, the master node endpoint, and then the certificate of the master machine. So the certificate will be available in the um, C colon program files uh, path. 
um, there if at all if you are going to install uh, in a separate machine only the worker node you will just choose this worker node part alone and then provide this uh, um, this uh, details over here but in this case whatever we are seeing is we are trying to install the master and worker node in the same machine so i'm not going to go through this uh, complete installation as we have already set up the environment for uh, the demo purpose how oh, this is how we will do the um, setup during the installation now let us go to a machine where this has been already installed and it's ready for use um, actually i have set up two virtual machines uh, azure virtual machines basically uh, which has which on runs uh, has uh, the same uh, account as administrator of course and then you know uh, we try to set up we can try to set up the um, that machine as a worker and uh, uh, the specific machine as a say scale out m will be our master so if you see here in this uh, master machine i have installed the scale out master and worker so this machine will act as both um, master and worker and uh, i have one another machine where um, only the scale out worker has been installed uh, so we'll try to configure this um, this into the this as a worker into the master and then we'll try to execute the package and let's check it out okay so once this installation is completed um, all we need to do is we need to get started with uh, creating a, a catalog over here as i have already created a catalog over here i would like to show this in a different environment so if you say create catalog over here this is what you will see and uh, you know for uh, doing this uh, scale out mode um, clr integration should be enabled and then uh, we will be creating a ssis db you should provide the passwords over here for the uh, encryption and uh, there is uh, an option to enable this server as a ssis scale out master so once you have you check this uh, option it uh, the scale out it will be enabled as a scale out master so let's return back to our environment where we are going to do our testing and uh, here already this ssis db has been set and even though after you are uh, creating this ssis db with the option you can go to the properties and then uh, see uh, make sure this uh, server wide default execution mode is set to scale out okay uh, now the SSIS DB is created, and once the SSIS DB is created, we will be able to um, manage the scale out um, here using the scale out manager application. So if you notice here, you could see that you know this has this is our uh, scale out uh, master, and then uh, as I mentioned already, this has been installed. Uh, as a uh, worker as well so this this uh, machine behaves as a master and as, as, as well as a worker now let us try to add a, um, another worker over here that is um, so once you say validate it's giving few instructions and then we need to confirm uh, to perform all this action so what it does is basically it uh, automatically installs the master's public certificate to the worker machine and then the worker uh, machine's public certificate will be installed in the master and then this uh, endpoint uh, will be updated uh, and https uh, thumbprint settings will be updated and then uh, the scale out worker service will restart so these are the steps basically when if, if you have to do it uh, during the installation Basically, we have done this um, steps manually over there, but here once you come to the manage scale out option or scale out manager tool, it is taken care uh, automatically. So, if you say uh, confirm to perform all these actions and say OK, the worker is getting added now, and uh, we should see the worker addition is completed shortly. Shortly, so it goes green, so it is added. Let's get back here and then refresh it, and you could see that this uh, worker machine has been um, created. But by default, it is in a disabled state, so you can enable the worker here. Okay, so this is how we need to configure the um, master and uh, worker uh, uh, machines basically. 
So just a few points over here before we are moving forward uh, with our execution part. So these are the prerequisites for uh, configuring the scale out worker using the scale out manager. Make sure that uh, port 1433 uh, is opened in the firewall and as well as the port whatever you have mentioned for the master machine also um, to be opened up in the firewall. And the SSMS whatever you are running it should be run as an administrator and whatever account um, you are running this SSMS should have the admin permissions in the worker machines. So here uh, for example I am having a user called SSIS user which is having the admin rights on the scale out worker machine also so that it could access that scale out worker machine and restart the service all those things and all. And final point is make sure this uh, remote uh, registry service is running so that uh, it can make the appropriate changes over there uh, in the worker machine as well. This service should be running both on the um, worker and the master machine. Okay, so now let's get back to our uh, master machine. So here for uh, our demo purpose, I have created a, a solution with two SSIS packages, which is uh, scale out demo 1 and demo 2 which is just having one single data flow task in it. Um, let us uh, deploy this into the SSIS uh, DB or the catalog whatever we have created. So this is the server name in which we are going to deploy. Let's see. So new folder and uh, this would be our folder in which uh, the packages are going to get deployed. Say next. Okay, now we should be able to see the packages deployed over here under this uh, scale out project. See that these uh, two packages are deployed here. And uh, when you are right clicking on this project, you should be seeing an option called execute in scale out. Once you choose this option, you will be seeing what are the packages you need to execute. You, under here, there is one other option called machine selection. If you go here, you can see that there are a couple of options here. So here, you could see that allow any machines to execute the select, selected package means um, whatever uh, worker or master config, worker machines configured, uh, it will pick up dynamically whatever machines it want to uh, it, it want to run. It means that whatever machines is available, it will uh, just randomly pick it up. If you uncheck this and uh, if you want you can check use or you no, know, you can uh, select the machines whichever with which this uh, um, this uh, packages needs to be run so now we are going to choose this both the machines to run the packages and this option is just to show whether um, you know as you are seeing in the scale out manager we can either uh, enable or disable the worker so here you know it will be showing only the enabled machines over here so once you say okay this uh, package is started executing in the scale out mode. Now uh, it is asking whether you want to open execution to port node. So whenever you are executing this in a scale out, you can come to this uh, report and then check the execution status. So now if you notice, there is a new column has been added here as machine. And you could see the scale out uh, demo 2 package is executed in the scale out M machine and uh, demo one is being executed in the uh, scale out W machine. So this is how the two packages are uh, ran parallelly on in the uh, two different uh, machines in a scale out mode. Now one more uh, thing here is like if at all if you want to execute this in a scale out mode in a, uh, in a programmatically or if you want to write a script, um, you know, Say this. Um, you can see this. So here you could see once you generate the script, these are the steps need to be followed to um, execute this uh, this in the scale out mode uh, with the script basically. So what you have to do is you have to create execution, and then uh, here we are having a, an option of uh, run in scale out mode equal to true, and uh, you need to so configure this uh, 
uh, steps here like you know execution worker one and two so what it does is it uh, assigns the um, worker accordingly to this uh, um, this uh, availability of the uh, worker machines so using this option uh, would uh, increase our performance uh, packages will be executed in the in parallel and then uh, in two different machines so i can show you one more thing quickly over here you know if you want to see how it behaves when it is going to have only one single machine so here let's say it's going to execute only in the uh, master machine and it will say okay now the execution has been started and now if you notice here you know it is going to be executed across uh, you know the first package has been picked up in the scale out master and then the second package is still waiting and it's pending for execution so it will wait until the first package is uh, succeeded then only it will pick up and then it will be running actually so what happens is it tries to run that package uh, using the uh, one single machine rather than you know uh, it's running parallelly in the multiple machines so that is the um scale out feature and uh, the sql server 2017 is right now in rc2 um this can be downloaded from this uh, link thank you very much for uh, watching this video i'll uh, meet you all soon in my next video thank you